Welcome to another beginning Drupal tutorial. This my name is Steve with WeaverMultimedia.com. Today I want to create a uh, custom user login page. Uh, it's cool to have this thing where you can log in on the sidebar. Uh, that's kind of like a default, but I want to have a custom login page so no one is able to see that in case you don't want that on your page. So I want to create something down here in the footer. So what I'll do is log in to my page. I won't tell you the password. <laughs> All right, so we're logged in now. Um, what I want to do, basically what you have to do is go to Site Configuration, Site Information. But first, we want to set up the page where we want the uh, login to go. So what we're going to do is we're going to create content page. All right. Now I'm going to title this uh, Login Admin. And that's all we basically have to do for that. And uh, I'm going to create the URL path setting as login underscore admin. Okay. Then I'm going to save that. So now that is the page. That's all we have to do is just create the title, basically, and use the URL um, path for that. So I'll go back to site configuration, site information. This thing's doing a little dance on my face. Okay. And then I'll hit that. As soon as it wants to load up. Okay, here it is. So what we're looking for is the footer message, and that's where we're going to put in our custom link to our login so nobody else sees where it is unless they're really looking for it. So I want to put something like a uh, and copy 2011, blah, blah, blah. And then I'm going to put a href equals and then wherever the the login page is so mine is going to be uh, uh, tutorial slash login underscore admin okay and that's how you base do a basic HTML link and then I'm going to put in uh, login and then I'll do my tag out and that's basically all you have to do is reference that page that you just created and that's where you'll be putting your login your new login so we're going to save that on our configuration okay so that should work now we can see down here at the bottom there's 2011 and then a login we're gonna click on that login see if that helps us log in better now let's see Will it work or will it not work? Oh, this is taking really long. So here's the page uh, login admin, but of course there's one more thing we have to do. We have to do something with the blocks. So <coughs> I'm going to go to site building blocks and I'll click on that. And what we're looking for is the login the admin login user login here it is so here's the user login what we're gonna do is just create a push that to uh, the content top so that way when we go to that page it's going to show up um, just in the dead middle of the page so I will save that real quick okay now I want to what I want what I want to do is configure that so it only shows up on that page so it doesn't show up on all of the rest of our pages Okay, so I'm going to show on only listed pages, so I'll click that, and then I'm going to put our uh, login underscore admin page. And that's all you have to do. So we should have everything done. I'm going to log out here and see if it works. Okay, so see now I don't see it over here, so it's kind of hidden. And we'll go down to our footer, and there's the login link. Click on that. And there's our user login. Pretty nifty if you just want to hide it so only people you were you know you know want to log in uh, to your site in a specific area. And there there we go, we logged in. So just a little note, just something to kind of clean up your site. Uh, my name is Steve with me WeaverMultimedia.com. Thanks for watching. I'm gonna have another one out pretty soon. I'll uh, see you around.